implemented as the GST goods and services tax implemented by the central government and collected by the state government. More than 160 countries are now uh, currently uh, adopted this GST. Good morning everyone. Today I am here. Here is the topic GST Council Structure. GST Council has been established under Article 279 of the Constitution of India. Chairperson, the Union Finance Minister as the Chairperson of the GST Council. Vice Chairperson is to be chosen amongst the Minister of State Government, Members, MOF and all Minister of Finance, Taxation of each state. Presently, the GST Council consists of 33 members of the job members are from the center, 31 are 28 states and 3 to the territories. Quorum is 50% of total members. Council to make recommendations on everything related to GST including laws, rules and rates etc. Thank you. Now I would like to discuss some benefits of GST. First is elimination of multiple taxes. The biggest benefit of GST is that elimination of multiple indirect taxes. This means current taxes like say tax, service tax, etc. will not be applicable and all that will fall under common tax card and GST. Second one is reduction in corruption. Under GST, all infractions should be through the former GST and portal. This is done to ensure less public interface between the taxpayer and the tax administration. Third one is helpful in promoting education. GST will help in promoting education by generating that the impact and incidence of the tax are on one and same person. That is, when a person on the main tax is divided, is same and finally bears the tax, burden of tax. He cannot shift his burden to any other person. For example, if a person has to pay income tax, that only he will bear the burden of the tax and he can't shift his burden to any other person. So there are two types of burden. Thank you.